Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle and welcome to Tai Chi at home training. Now in this video, we're going to be working on your Peng and the Kwa. So the Kwa is the hips and we want to make sure we develop some mobility and strength. And Peng is something that you're going to hear. It's one of those important catchphrases for uh, one of the energies in Tai Chi Chuan. So uh, one of the things is Peng is expansion. And you use this usually when you're in a stance, when you have a bow stance and you want to press the knees outward. So typically you'll get teachers telling you, press your knees outward, press your knees outward. But really that's how you can see the effect. But the main thing that causes that is that you open up the hips. So we're going to work on some strength exercises for that. And of course we want to have both sides of the spectrum because you don't want to have just the muscles developed on one side to have strong pung and then no compression. So we're going to work on that compression energy as well by having the leg muscles squeeze inward. All right. Now you need no equipment for this. You can have special equipment and exercise stuff, but we're going to do this all by ourselves with no special equipment, just our hands and our legs. This is very easy to do. All you need to do is sit down. You don't need any equipment. Just take your hands and make fists. What we're going to do is put the fists together and then place them between the knees. Now this is where you'll make your adjustment. Slide your feet in, bring your knees in so that the toes are pointing forward and underneath the knees. There's really no reason you should be pushing on the ground for this. You should just have the feet there below the knees. Now we're going to squeeze our knees in. We're going to try to squeeze the fists as inward as much as possible. Of course, the fists are going to give us resistance. And what we're going to do is squeeze and hold. I want you to do a five count hold. So you squeeze one, two, three, four, five, release. And we're going to do that 10 times. So here I squeeze one, two, three, four, five, release. Again, squeeze one, two, three, four, five, release. Again, squeeze one, two, three, four, five, release. Again, we're going to do that 10 times. Now, after 10 times on the last one, you're going to hold for a 20 count. So what we'll do is we'll squeeze one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then relax. Okay, so we have that the squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax, and then the squeeze and hold. You can raise the count up, you can do more sets in between, but if you consider that the squeeze and relax and then the squeeze and hold as one set, I want you to do three. Okay, now you can work up from there, you can do more reps in between, but that's just to develop the compression in between the knees. Now we still have to work on that, that pung energy, the expansion energy. So take one hand, just make sure that our foot stays <laughs> below the knee and our leg stays in the same spot. And then now I can press inward with my palm, press outward with my knee, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to squeeze and, and relax. Again, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, relax. Again, one, two, three, four, five, relax. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Squeeze one, two, three, four, five, relax. But this side is doing nothing. It's just staying here. This side has all the energy. I'm pushing in, I'm pushing out with the knee, and I'm trying to develop that expanding energy. Now, once you're done with that, you can try doing both at the same time and press outward and hold. And this would be for your 20 count, okay? And then once you're done with that, repeat the same exercise. This is really simple. You'll get a little bit of the arms worked out as well, but you should feel a nice difference in the hips. Once you're done doing your sets on this, you should feel the hips tend to warm up and open a little bit more. And this will benefit your training as well. Once you get into something like a bow stance and you need that pung energy, that expansive energy outward. Okay, so there you have it. This is a really simple exercise. And the cool thing is you can do this just about anywhere you can sit down. Okay, now you can substitute exercise equipment in here. Um, you could use a foam roller for the compression. You could use rubber bands around the outside or exercise bands around the outside for the expansion. Um, you could use a water bottle that's filled up and the lid is tightly sealed so that you squeeze in and it gives you a little bit of resistance. There's lots of different ways that you can do this if you're inventive. But again, all you need is just your hands to do this. Okay, work on this one. 
take the time, make it part of your daily routine because doing it one time is going to feel nice, but doing it consistently over an entire month will have a big effect on your Tai Chi. Okay, so set the time aside, do this one every day for the next month and you will see results. All right, till the next video, this is Sifu Cuddle.